All right, well, we made it here. We're out in Texas. We're out here with Lacey Blair. What's up? Lacey's gonna be doing all of my powder coat with ECC Zach. We're gonna be getting uh, my wheel set up from JTX today. We're pretty stoked to be down here in Texas. Sweet opportunity to do some work for them, with them, have them work on my truck. Pretty excited to be down here. We're excited to have you guys. We've had fun so far. Yeah, it's Jake been good. polished some wheels for us last night. You guys want to see them? Check it out. Stop shop, get your coffee, get your breakfast sandy, a decent breakfast sandy actually. Fresh meat, beef jerky, and gas station. wheels for my SEMA truck and I'm going to be running some JTX 4s wheels, some 26 by 16s on my truck. These are not my wheels. We're kind of checking out the polishing process and how they go about a lot of their stuff here, which is honestly beyond yeah, impressive day. what they do. They're taking wheels straight up from blanks. You can see they have all different cuts out here, the ways they do it. This is like one of the final checkpoints from what it looks like to me, but they kind of do their final wipe down, checking for that built up rouge, making sure that wheel is just absolutely perfect here. You see I'm using a lot of different orbital tools, a lot of different polishes, hand polishes. And it's honestly just very impressive to see. So that's really what we're doing over here in this section and just checking it out. So what they're doing is cutting out the design, the rough cut of the wheel, and making it into what will be a wheel going on a truck. So taking a blank, programming the machine, machine cuts it. Yeah, this is freaking, this is a dream. Someday, oh, spinning caps. We do all of our caps in house. Everything comes in. Oh, that's, that's it. Is actually Everything is cut here. Here's some of the burning cut. Make it powder coated, sanded. Yep. Bring it right over here. You lay it down on the table. This table spins, distorts, heats up the barrel, expands the barrel. Lay it on here to take the face. Set it in, air cools it, and the air cools it, contracts the barrel yep. to the face. All of this, the hammer's on the barrel, makes it perfect. Yep. Centers it off, set it over, set it on here, wrap it right up. Like that. Hopefully that was a poor technology. Yeah, we got it. Nice. It's good. It's cool. I like it. It's impressive. Guess you guess you want the tire mounts in here and all that. We don't do anything with tires. The only time we'll ever do anything is if it's 28, 37. We've got to stop up the road that will do them more. And because that's not something a whole lot of stuff we can't do. No matter what material they have, what machine. That cut right there is probably one of the coolest cuts I think I've seen. Because this two tone, like that with a powder color, would look way better. We met on Instagram 
I guess, man, man actually called me out the blue. I'm like, yo, dog, I got a question when you do these, he calls them bro wheel, which I'm like, man, that's, that's kind of yeah, cringe. I'm not gonna... <laughs> but, but, you know, he's like, man, how did, how did you go about it? Uh, we kind of talk, exchange information. And, you know, when I used to polish it with somebody I had up north, I was like, this is my guy. I refer you to him. You know, a lot of the New Jersey guys and above, they don't have a whole lot of that way. He was kind of my southern guy. I saw his work. His work was freaking incredible. He's been doing it way longer than me. And he was one of the first polishers I'd talked to that was actually like a respectable dude that I could just be like, hey, man, what bar are you using in this situation? Because, dude, I'm struggling. Give me an honest response because he knows it the same way I do. There's a bajillion wheels out there. There's really no competition. Somebody called me from like three minutes up the road. Bro, you can, you know, see you. You know, but somebody <laughs> 15 hours away, like, there's no point. The way I look at it is what I used to do and what he does is a very uncommon thing. It's It's got its certain customers, it's certain clientele. It's not just polishing the wheel, it's, it's like you said, it's art. It's being able to take something that looks like shit and make it perfect. No matter where you locate out in the country, if you're in Florida, Texas, you're going to have your group of people that are always going to say, you're the best ever live. Just like I'm going to have my group that say, you're the best ever live. And that's just how it is because it's how people see it. Not everyone can see. Not everyone that follows me knows who you are. And everyone that knows who you are knows who I am. Exactly. And there's no way to honestly compare who's better. Like, there's no such thing. Really. Unless you have the exact same temperature, bars, location, it, it'd be so... People don't think about, you know, like when I used to do it, like a... You gotta check the humidity, barometric pressure, all kind, all those things, temperature, uh, dew points, yep. all of it. You, a lot of people, like what I call truck stop polishers or show polishers, they just they don't have a clue because they don't do the refinishing process that we no. would do. There's a difference between being a polisher and a wheel refinisher. Yes. Somebody that can actually put it there. Like I need it. Powder the backs and windows. Yeah, I mean, the backs and windows, right? Yeah. yeah. Polish the face and the lip. I'm pretty rough. No, this ain't rotary. No, that's not. 320 rotary. Right up to 600 VA. 608. 326 8. Cut to the mother. If even. <laughs> All right, so we unboxed our wheels. We're pretty stoked on these things. Uh, we thought they were gonna come black, but they're actually already raw, which is honestly even better. Gonna get us even farther forward. These wheels are freaking gorgeous. So I'm gonna see what I can make out of these things. Put an awesome polish on them. Then we're gonna let Miss Lacey Blair work her absolute magic on her powder coat. These are gonna have powder windows, powder on the backside as well. Everything else will be polished. Probably powder inside these letters too. We'll kind of see what we make out of these. Honestly, a huge shout out to JTX and thank you to Chris over here at JTX for hooking us up with these wheels. Um, they're one of our biggest sponsors going forward with the SEMA truck uh, to be in the Renegade booth. So honestly, a huge shout out to our man Chris over here and JTX themselves for helping us out.